Hey guys, here's a Forza 4 uh, tune set video once again, and this time I'm tuning the 2010 Ferrari 458 Italia. I got it to 268.2, uh, I think, miles per hour. It'll show the, I'll show the benchmark uh, in a few seconds. I, I think it's either 0.1 or 0.2, I don't know, but I got it to 268 miles per hour, which is pretty decent. Um, here's the parts I upgraded. I just upgraded the race parts, like always, and uh, I did an engine replacement, and I chose the Enzo Ferrari engine instead of the stock engine. It makes it faster, and uh, that's pretty much about it. Make sure you choose the race transmission as well. Um, a lot of people forget about that, and that makes it so you can't uh, change the gearing. So make sure you choose that. But um, that's about it. I didn't choose any of, I didn't upgrade the front bumper or rear bumper, I left it stock, that's what I normally do, uh, because when you upgrade it to the Forza 4 bumpers, or spoiler, it usually makes the car less slow, less less fast, I mean, and uh, sometimes though, if it's aftermarket parts, they make it a bit faster and stuff, but in this case, it's just the front bumper and spoiler you can choose from, and it's just the Forza 4 one, so it's crap, and Good, the Koenig rims, these rims work. Um, you could use the TSW rims, um, Dimag rims, there's other ones that you can use, but I just chose those ones for this car. And that's pretty much about it. Like I said, with the sport front bumper and, wheel and spoiler, and leaf stock. And here's the benchmark it was 268.2. Okay, so yeah, 268.2 miles per hour benchmark. And this is the tune, uh, pretty, uh, pretty easy. Uh, make sure to change the ride height, uh, make the front uh, higher than the front, I mean make the back higher than the front, and that's about it, I'm going to show you guys the ben test drive, yep, uh, I chose the Punisher design, I don't know if you guys ever saw that movie, uh, I liked it, and uh, the design on this car looked pretty sick, so that's what I chose it for, and I, I'm driving this right now on the Lamont's track because uh, I can get to the top end speed better, and the other side, when I'm going the other way, uh, I can't usually get to the full potential of the car, so I do it this way now. So if you guys have noticed that a lot uh, recently on my videos, um, it's because this side can get to the top end speed, more potential from it, because uh, it's more straight. There's more of a straightaway compared to the other way. There's a lot of, like, right at the beginning, there's like a turn, a sharp turn, so you have to slow down quite a bit. I'm at 260 right now, so I'm almost at 268. We'll be there pretty soon. It's a pretty decent car. Like, if you guys want the car, just stop for me. Uh, send me a message or something, I'll send it to you guys. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a comment, like the video, and subscribe. I appreciate it a lot. Thanks, guys. See ya.